So we have created, this is our first web page, Joe Smith in the body output. Say we want Joe Smith to be on the next line, which would be under, this is our first web page. Well, the HTML tag that we need to do to do this is the less than sign then B R greater than sign and it stands for the break tag so we'll save our text editor control S and then we'll go over here and we'll refresh our web browser and Joe Smith goes underneath our first sentence another way to create a break or put Joe Smith on the next line is with the horizontal tag. All you have to do is change the B to an H and then it's an HR and a horizontal line should appear across the page. So we'll save that, control S, come back, refresh, and now our web page has a line and Joe Smith is on another line. Say we want this line to only be so big. We'll go back into the HR tag and we'll type width equals double quote 50 double quote. And then we'll save that. and our line appears in the middle of the page and it is only 50 pixels wide. So now say we want the line to be on the left side of the page under this is our first web page. Go back to your text editor and inside the HR tag type a line equals double quote left double quote and then we can save that control s refresh the web browser and the line has moved all the way over to the left side of the web page or maybe you want that all the way to the right go back to your text editor and where left was type in right, save that, refresh, the line appears all the way over on the right side of the web page. Now let's put the line back to the left and we'll take away the size, so we'll take away the width equals 50 and we want to change the color of the line. We'll type color in the HR tag equals double quote and we want it the color red so we type red double quote. We then save that hit refresh and the line is now red and the full size of the page. So the line, line left doesn't even need to be there. So we'll take out the line left, save that, and the web page should not change either. And it does not.